Well, you know, Ann Coulter the, is a best-selling author. Uh, you should get her book, In Trump We Trust. Get her other book, Adios America. Perfect for today's times. And, uh, of course, you can get her new column. It comes out tonight. Go to AnnCoulter.com. Make sure you follow her on Twitter, Ann Coulter at Twitter. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? Very good. Uh, so what do you think of this uh, French President Macron? I love him. You do? I- I love him more than I can say. Well, for one thing, um, I love his accent because he sounds like Peter Sellers in The Pink Panther. <laughs> it's so adorable, and I'm I'm officially demanding more French immigrants right now. Um, secondly, I mean, the whole first part of his speech, so he was alt-right. It was all about culture and language and the West um, and, you know, our heroes and so on and so forth. And, um, okay, the one thing, you know, that, that got the Democrats, that's really excited because they couldn't give <laughs> anything about our borders, culture, and language um, was, was when he went on about global warming. But I'm willing to trade if we can have a border, save our culture, save our language. Okay, fine. We'll all pretend to believe in global warming. <laughs> well, I like this global warming. I'm always, you know, it's a little cold here lately. Well, I know, I know, but don't worry, nothing they do will change anything about oh. that because because um, there is no global warming. Um, you just won't be able to use aerosol anymore, which I use extra of oh, just okay. to try to jumpstart a little global warming. <laughs> I don't even need aerosol. <laughs> so uh, there's this story this week. 14 states have now set the all-time record for low unemployment. 14 states, California, Texas, Wisconsin, big states. Lowest unemployment numbers in the history of unemployment numbers. This story doesn't get reported anywhere. California surprises me, other than the fact that they're driving so many people out of the state. Um, I mean, whatever jobs they're creating or or providing, they're not middle class jobs. Well, that's true. But <laughs> California is is Brazil now. It's the ridiculously rich with their raft of servants and the servant class, um, both of both of which are are extremely well catered to by the California legislature. Um, and yes, I, I take your point. <laughs> Nothing good will be reported for the next <laughs> two and a half years or whatever whatever the, the time is. Will not be reported, n- n- not at all. But as long as we're talking about unemployment, um, I tweeted a chart the other day that the h- wages have risen the highest in the two countries in Europe, which is kind of bigger because they have more distinctive policies, and it's and it's quite striking where the wages are, or how, how much they've been going up in Poland and Hungary, the two countries with the strictest immigration controls. What causes wages to go up? I mean, macro more than more than anything else, more than some dumb little policy. Um, is, well, a big, important policy, and that is restricting immigration. It's just a simple matter of, of supply and demand. These, these swine employers and their mouthpiece, the Koch brothers, oh, there are no workers, there are no workers, we need to bring in more and more peasants who will be accepting lots of government welfare. No, you don't. Pay them more. I mean, Thomas Sowell, <laughs> has gone, but the, the America's greatest economist, um, has gone blue in the face explaining there's no such thing is a shortage of anything. <laughs> it's just a matter of how much you're willing to pay. Yeah, and during the Great Depression, when we had ridiculous unemployment problems, didn't they stop immigration for a while till the American workers could get employed? Well, the Depression was sort of independent of that, but it, excellent point. It was 1924 when immigration was, because we had just taken an enormous number of immigrants in the last, um, you know, several decades. That's where we got, you know, the mob. (laughs) That's where we got the Irish. Um, um, And, and, but, but in any event, in general, over the next half century, 50 years, was a fantastic booming time for America. From 1924 up until around 1970, when, when Teddy Kennedy's Immigration Act kicked in, that was what created the American middle class. People were making loads of money because it was basically impossible to immigrate here. Yeah, but there were times in this country where this, we have to pause immigration for a while to be able to uh, integrate everybody we already have here. 
It's, it's exactly, and we have taken far more immigrants uh, since 1970, since the Ted and Kennedy Immigration Act, um, com- comprising a far greater percentage of our population than we had when the basically <laughs> total shutdown of immigration kicked in in 1924. Now, you know, if the illegal aliens tended to vote Republican, Chuck Schumer would be with a shovel on the border starting to build the wall himself. Yes, he would. <laughs> yes, he would. Though the ones I really um, detest are the, are the Republicans. Um, because with them, I mean, they're just saying, I just, I don't care about the country. I'm just going to make my pile. Um, they're, the employers want the cheap labor. I mean, if they, if they succeed in destroying the country, the one... Um, I've already started making a list of the fun I'm going to have as <laughs> America goes down, and who knows, maybe we are doomed. Um, but one part will be um, all these greedy employers and farmers demanding all the cheap labor while offloading the costs of their cheap labor on the taxpayer. Um, let, let's see how they enjoy the regulations under a government that will be run by the mar- most far-left Democrats. <laughs> you think- Good luck to you then, Koch brothers. <laughs> You think the uh, Republicans have a big problem coming up in the midterms because most voters, even most Republican voters, can't stand these Republicans. They find them the Paul Ryanish Republicans to be totally useless. Why even bother to vote for them? Um, that isn't the problem. That isn't the problem at all. I mean, that's that's been true for we've we've had their number for a while, um, and yet and still the weird thing. I mean, polls have been taken on this forever. People always hate. Um, Congress in general hate Republicans in general, hate Democrats in general. They love their own congressman. I mean, look at Paul Ryan, the worst of the worst. I campaigned for his primary opponent a couple of years ago. And out in his district, oh, he's such a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> so so th- that is, 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 it ought to be a problem. I wish it were a problem, but it never, ever is. The problem is Trump not keeping his promises, and this just getting exhausting. I mean, at the moment, if nothing changes, I think we are looking at a massive, terrifying blue wave like we have never seen before. Oh. But it's in Trump's hands. Uh-oh. There's still time. If he would just come through on the immigration stuff, oh, man, he could get them back. I mean, we, we might still lose a few seats because, in general, the party out of power loses seats in the midterm. But it is all in his hands, Mark Simone. If he would start the wall, if he would really, you know, drop this dreamer nonsense, deport the illegals, he's probably, hmm, I think before the midterms he's going to win the travel ban case in the Supreme Court. I shouldn't say that because you never know what the Supreme Court's going to do. They discover all kinds of crazy things. But I find it very hard to believe that he's not going to win that. that. That's one small thing. But he really has to stop pretending like that was all a con job to get get himself elected and, and, and do some stuff on immigration. If he does that, he'll bring them back. If he doesn't, he's looking like a fraud, and, and it will be a disaster. Uh-oh. Well, I hate to say it, we're out of time, but everybody get uh, Ann Coulter's book, In Trump We Trust. Get um, her. Uh, you want to read about immigration, Adios America, great book. And uh, the new column comes out tonight, right? And it's a buffo column. So check Twitter, Ann Coulter Twitter or AnnCoulter.com, and you can get the new column tonight. Uh, make sure you follow Ann Coulter on Twitter. Uh, Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. Take care.